Hello. In this tutorial, we are exploring how classification and attributes works in MVVO 12. Classification is basically an option whereby we could add in additional data about our participants or our data, uh, which are not necessarily captured in the actual transcript. So we couldn't really use a code or a node to capture those data. And the data which we're talking about here could be demographic data, such as one's gender, age, occupation, and so on and so forth. Now in MV412, they have completely revamped how this process works. Uh, so if you have been using MV411 or before, then this process is a lot easier, is to go to the files page. So this is where all your uh, sources, all of your transcripts are likely to situate. And let's begin by selecting everybody. So you can use Control A uh, or Command A if you are a Mac user, and then right click. So what we want to do is to go to the second bottom and click on classification. And the option we want is this new option at the bottom uh, called new case classification. So let's click on that. And it will actually take us to what you will normally get if you actually created classification from scratch. So what I would do, I would still create uh, a classification, maybe just called demographic data, uh, and then press OK. And this process actually does a lot of things automatically. Um, so now if we go back to our case classification, if you see the case uh, classification on the left hand side, uh, cases, this will include all of the nine cases which we just created. But at the same time, that shortcut enables us to create demographic data which is what we want to do uh, if we want to apply some additional information about our participants. Now, the whole point of creating classification is so that we can generate attributes. So if you right click on the classification, which we just created, you will see the option new attribute. An attribute is basically a variable. So stuff like gender is an attribute. So let's click on new attribute. So as we uh, discussed, let's try gender. And then the more important thing is the how use tab. Now this is a space where you choose your options. What options would you like to offer under this label called gender? Now we have to use the add screen at the bottom left and we could give ourselves the options of the typical uh, female and male. And if you wish to have more, you could, but otherwise those two options are perfectly fine. By default, these two options will be there, unassigned and not applicable unless you switch them off, but it is fine as it is. So let's click on OK, and we will have created our first attribute. Now you can create as many attributes as you want, and to be honest, um, attributes can be very useful because it allows us to break down our data at a later stage, whilst we don't have to think about these uh, different attributes during the process of data uh, coding. So you could have, you know, location, occupation, gender, um, a whole range of other variables. And uh, it doesn't have to be demographic. It could be pre and post, it could be type of data, or it could be something quite conceptual, which you have come up with at the later stage. So it is very flexible and you can come back to this at a later stage. So once you have created your whole list of attributes and imagine you have given them options uh, such as gender and the same for all the other attributes. What you would then want to do is to double click on your classification, in my case, demographic data, which will open up this matrix table, so to speak. And this is the space where you can start allocating the options which you have given yourself onto your participants. So this is the space where MVVO recognizes that Anna is a female and Anna's occupation is X location is Y, education is Z, and so on and so forth. Now, of course, I haven't completed all the uh, values for my attributes, but you could also, if you wish to um, type it in, double click on the cell, type it in, and just press enter. And what's gonna happen is that when you try again for the third option, these options will automatically be added. So you can do that for all of your data, and this is how you would do classifications and attributes.